Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Dragon Warrior 1 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Last episode, Chicken went back to the Magic Shrine south of Momoldar. He went back there because he now has the Staff of Rain and the Stones of Sunlight in his possession. Um, he was told to bring those two items to the uh, Sage there, and uh, the Sage would be able to create the Rainbow Drop, which would create the Rainbow Bridge that would allow him to get to the Dragon Lord's uh, island and to his castle. However, the man was like, uh, no, I don't believe that you're really the descendant of the great hero Odric. Uh, and he kicked us out. So now Chicken, he has nowhere really to go. Uh, the only rumor he has that he might be able to investigate is uh, to the south of Garenham, uh, there's said to be a town, uh, Hawksness. However, some people don't uh, think that town exists anymore. Uh, so, well, it's time for Chicken to maybe head down that way uh, and see, you know, if uh, the town is still there. I grinded up to level 16. At level 15, I got the Repel spell, which uh, uh, is like the fairy water. It prevents uh, low-level enemies from attacking you, so it makes the trip here just uh, much uh, quicker. Still, we have a large trip ahead of us, a long trip ahead of us. Uh, we're going to be passing through uh, four new enemy domains. Now, the domain that we're about to pass in through as soon as we cross this bridge, uh, the enemies are the same around as the ones around the uh, shrine. Uh, we've got wolf lords, wyverns, uh, gold men, and the uh, wraith n uh, and uh, wraiths. Uh, to the south of the d to the south, basically, when you get to the halfway point in the desert, uh, we're going to run into another new group of enemies. Um, basically, these four new group of uh, enemy encounters that we're going to go through basically the toughest in the game. So the extra level that we got uh, is definitely going to help. Uh, you could make the trip at basically level 15, but doing that means you probably have to make two trips uh, to our end goal. And our end goal is actually going to be uh, the town Cantlin. We're actually going to skip our uh, Hawksness, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But uh, in Cantlin we can get the best shield in the game, the silver shield, and the uh, second best sword in the game, uh, the flame sword. To get both of them, you need 25,600 gold. Uh, so I basically was grinding up to that amount of gold. Uh, when I got that amount of gold, I was very close to level 16, so I was like, oh, I'll just grind out uh, a little bit more and get that uh, next level, because it'll definitely help out. Uh, cause, like I said, this is we're going to have a lot of tough enemies, including this guy here, the Demon Knight. Uh, he's really, really tough because of all the enemies in the game, he has the highest dodge chance of any. Uh, he has a 23.4375% chance to dodge. Uh, so basically, like, almost one in every four attacks he's going to dodge. So you're probably going to get a lot of messages like, uh, you, you know, you miss no damage half been scored. So really annoying because they hit really hard too. So good defense and good uh, offense. So here's uh, probably one of the weaker enemies in the area, the uh, Rogue Scorpion. Uh, not much more difficult than, uh, you know, the Metal Scorpion. Has a little bit more defense. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's probably the weakest enemy that you can encounter in this area. Uh, both the Demon Knight and the Rogue Scorpion, their AI, they just straight up attack. Uh, so you don't have to worry about magic against them. So just attack back with them. Of course, the resistances and all their stats will be put in the video description. So... Now once we pass down by those mountains, we're going to another new uh, area, I'll talk about the monsters there. Uh, here we have this knight here. Uh, knights are kind of like the uh, wolf lords. They're a little tougher than the wolf lords, they hit harder, have more hit points, uh, but they tend to cast the stop spell uh, spell at you. Uh, they have a 50% chance of casting the stop spell if it doesn't work. Uh, if it does work, then they'll just straight up attack you. But until they successfully put stop spell on you, there's a 50% chance that they will use the stop spell on you. So, enemies in the area right now that we can encounter are Wyverns, Rogue Scorpions, Wraith Knights, the Knights, and then those Demon Knights. Uh, when we get down just beyond the, the mountains there, we're going to get into a new uh, domain where uh, the Wyverns and the Rogue Scorpions are going to be replaced by the Metal Slime which gives the most experience uh, in the game, uh, but they're kind of a pain to fight. Uh, and then the upgraded Wyvern, the Magic Wyvern. 
those, uh, both the Metal Slime and the My Magic Wyverns are mainly spell casters, so. We won't run into, uh, the Metal Slime, though. We'll get to him eventually later, so. And then when we cross the bridge over here, we get into another new domain. We have Knights, Demon Knights, Magic Wyverns, the final uh, Wyvern enemy, the Star Wyvern, and this guy, the Werewolf, which is the strongest uh, wolf type enemy in the game. Uh, the wolf just uh, straight up attacks. Uh, the other ones we have to a little bit worry about. We gotta do some different tactics. So, uh, we're gonna be using a lot of herbs here, especially in battle. Outside of battle, just use your heal spell. But, uh, as you can see, the enemies hurt really hard when they hit you. So, uh, in battle, you're probably gonna have to use an herb to uh, keep up with the damage they do. So if you get into the red hit points and you don't wanna risk uh, attacking them, it's a good thing to, a uh, good strategy to uh, keep track of the enemy's hit points. And then you can determine like, well, if it's, uh, there's the, it's dodging attack uh, or command there. Uh, you can determine, like, well, you know, one more hit might take it out, but do I really want to risk it? So, like, for this guy right here, I know that one more hit would take him out, but, like I said, they have uh, basically one in four chance of dodging, so it's like, do I really want to dodge, you know, risk uh, attacking them, having them dodge, and then having it, you know, defeat me? Once again, remember, if you defeat it, you lose half of your gold. Uh, you revive it in front of King Bean, uh, but we work so hard to get all this gold so we can buy all the rest of the equipment that uh, a death right now would be very, very uh, detrimental, so. Here is the new Wyvern enemy, the Magic Wyvern. Uh, their uh, AI is they uh, have a 50% chance to cast Sleep on you. Uh, if you're asleep, then they'll just straight up attack. Uh, so one of the first things you want to do is obviously cast the uh, Stop spell on them. They have no resistance to Stop spell, so you're always going to be able to block their spells. Uh, as you can see there, we got lucky. Uh, well, we're not too, too lucky, because uh, sometimes, this, like I said, the, if you get a stop spell up first, which you should, unless they uh, attack you first, you know, they attack before you're ready, uh, they'll just keep, tr and you get lucky, they'll just keep trying to cast sleep, and the spell will keep getting blocked, 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 so they'll never do anything to you, but uh, we got a smart uh, magic wyvern there, and only try to cast sleep once after we successfully cast the stop spell on it, so. But we're gonna need to use a uh, stop spell against their tougher brethren, the uh, star wyvern, which is the strongest wyvern type enemy in the game, but for a different reason. But we'll be encountering them uh, very soon. Uh, the strongest enemies uh, in the game, the strongest enemy domain, uh, on the outside. There's stronger enemies inside the castle of uh, the Dragon Lord. But in terms of the overworld, uh, we're about to get into the... There's a bridge up to the... Uh, not the one right there to the uh, east and the upper right there, uh, but a little further up, there's another uh, bridge. Once we cross that bridge, we'll get into the strongest enemy domain, so... Well, the strongest enemy domain, we can also get in through, through that bridge there. But that bridge basically kind of takes us to a dead end. It takes us to a really, really big swamp. And we don't want to venture into that swamp right now. We're going to have to venture into it later. Uh, but we don't want to go into that swamp until we have Odric's armor, which is the strongest armor in the game and prevents all damaged tiles from um, doing any damage to you. So we're just going to head north here a little bit and uh, head into this smaller swamp and head toward the town of Cantlin. We want to cast Star Spell on the Star Wyvern because the Star Wyvern, uh, if it has uh, less than one fourth of its max hit points, there's a 75% chance it's going to cast Heal More. Uh, heal More is the upgraded heal spell. It basically like heals it for all its hit points. So uh, you definitely don't want uh, the Heal More uh, for enemies can. Uh, we store between 85 and 100 hit points. So basically it's like a full heal for, you know, an enemy. So we don't want to be getting caught in that loop where we attack them, then they heal themselves fully, and we're back to square one. So, speaking of squares, we see that there's that one open square uh, in front of that town there. Uh, this is the town of Cantlin. It's the final town in the game. We were told that, like, really strong weapons are, you know, made there. But, uh... 
so it makes a prime target for you know the minions of the dragon lord however the town has its own little guardian to prevent i guess the dragon lord's minions from attacking the golem and the golem is really really tough if you just try to fight it normally but we learned that hey uh the fairies know how to put golems to sleep so we just blow on the fairy flute and the golem will go to sleep now the golem can you know has that um 33 chance to wake up each round uh, and if it wakes up it's gonna hit you and hurt you hard uh, but if it does wake up just uh we uh use the fairy flute um uh, and you shouldn't have too much of a problem taking out the golem Unfortunately, the golem doesn't give much experience or gold, but defeating it does get us into the final town of the game, Cantlin. Welcome to Cantlin, the castle town. And we can buy basically all the weapons and armor in here. We're gonna buy the bamboo pole just so I can say I bought every weapon in the game. Uh, but we're not ever gonna use the bamboo pole. We automatically equip it, but we're about to buy the flame sword and the silver shield, which is available by the guard to the south there. It said that many have held Erdrick's armor. The last to have it was a fellow named Wynn. So we use our key. The guy up there to the north, he cast, he uh, sells keys, but they're really expensive, so we'll pass. We'll buy more keys in uh, the molder eventually. We're gonna use our gold instead to buy the flame sword and the silver shield. The flame sword uh, gives you plus 28 attack, which is eight more than the broad sword. And uh, the silver shield gives plus 20 defense, which is 10 more than the large shield we have. So, other than uh, Odric's armor and Odric's uh, sword, we're decked out with the best stuff we have. There's a bunch of these little tiny houses in here. They're only one tile wide, uh, one tile underneath the roof. Uh, you would think that maybe there's something in there, but if you search, there's nothing there. So, no need to go into them. I'm just going in for to show them off, so. I'm Nestor, hey, where am I? Uh, don't tell me. Hey, we finally found Nestor. Grandfather used to say that his friend, Wynn, had buried something of great value at the foot of a tree behind his shop. Okay. We're gonna learn where Wynn's shop is. Wynn's shop is actually in Hawksness, but we skipped Hawksness because, uh, it's actually destroyed. There's really tough enemies. Uh, the enemies there are the same ones that are in this town here, and there's a tough boss, so we want to get that flame sword and silver shield before we went in. So, let's head around this guy. So, that guy said that Odric's sword can cleave steel. We learned earlier that uh, the Dragon Lord's scales are as strong as steel, so uh, yeah, Odric's sword looks like it might be the only weapon that can actually uh, hurt the Dragon Lord, so. That's not true, as long as you have enough strength you can hurt the Dragon Lord, but the, the uh, attack power of Urgic's Sword, which is uh, plus 40, uh, plus 40, uh, definitely makes it easier, so. This guy basically tells us a little bit about the Dragon Lord, that he has uh, strong breath and claws, uh, and he gives us the option to say uh, we can quit our journey, or we want to go on. If we say we quit, he's like, hey, no one's going to call you a coward, but... If we say we ain't quitting, they call us brave, so it doesn't affect anything in the story, so I just showed off both the little dialogues there. So we can buy all the weapons, we can also buy a bunch of tools, we want to restock on our herbs. Before we head to Hawksness, uh, we want to make sure that we have our uh, six herbs again, so that's basically all we're going to be spending money on, uh, basically for the rest of the game. So. We use quite a few of those herbs there. Um, so when, uh, until we, uh, what you call it, uh, you know, get better armor uh, and a better uh, heal more spell ourselves. Uh, when we get really uh, strong enemies, the herbs will help keep up with the damage. So that one lady offered to get us dinner. Well, we're not hungry. Maybe you can get tomatoes because that one lady in Ramilda wanted tomatoes. Well, this guy sells different vegetable radishes. I stopped at the end there because I wanted to get full hit points uh, and magic points. Because see that barrier room over there? Uh, we're going to have to cross through that barrier. And uh, each of those barrier tiles that we step on is 15 damage. I know nothing. That's what the one lady in Zelda 2 says. So I just opened that door because, like I said, we can buy more keys uh, later on. 
because all we have to buy is herbs now, so. My grandfather Wynn once had a shop on the east side of Hawksness. So once you get into Hawksness, you gotta go to the east side, look for a shop, and then look for a tree behind the shop. And apparently Odric's armor is there. So learn how proof may be obtained that the ancestor was the great Odric sees somebody in this town. And of course that somebody is going to be this uh, old man or wizard uh, beyond all these uh, damage tiles, so. 15 every step, so I want to make sure that once we get real close, we cast our heal spell. That's why we uh, maxed out our uh, magic points by staying at the end there real quick. So uh, one more heal spell will get us over 30, which is all we need to finish up this uh, thing here. Let us wish the warrior well. May the light be thy strength. Thou may go and search. Search where? From Tantajo Castle, travel 70 leagues to the south and 40 to the east. Uh, now, if you know what that is, you can go get the proof of your lineage. Uh, but this is the reason why you really want to rescue the princess, because the princess is going to give you a compass. Uh, and that could tell you when you're 70 leagues south and 30 east of Tantajo Castle. Uh, so if you play this game multiple times, uh, you know where to find the thing. You don't have to rescue the princess and get her compass, but we're gonna do that. I'm actually gonna make uh, two saves though, because uh, I'll eventually go through uh, later on uh, to show off the different endings you get if you don't rescue the princess. So I'll be uh, doing some changing, uh, uh, making a, an extra save there. So, but because it's the first time I'm gonna rescue the princess because. Uh, you know, obviously the game intends you to rescue the princess so you can get that compass so you know exactly where to search. And then once we know exactly where to search, we can get the proof that we are uh, Odric's descendants. And then finally that guy can make the uh, rainbow drop for us to make the rainbow bridge. However, before we go searching for that uh, token, we should go to Hawksness and search for uh, Odric's armor. Because that will uh, make it easier for us to do that searching because... Spoiler, it's going to be in a big swamp. So take care, have a good one, see you next episode. Bye!